the single S-flip parity problem, or in general, odd parity, a hideous thing. Many times the question came if parity can be solved intuitively, and many answers have been given, including some that I have given, and the one I'm going to show in this video, which I have never put on YouTube before, but Someone on Quora just asked the question in the other day and I just said, I guess it's just time for me to finally make a video about this. But basically this video is going to be me showing you how to solve parity intuitively. And believe me, this is not showing you some move sequence and then you just have to learn it and then you want to call the move sequence intuitive. I've seen some people do that and uh, for some reason a lot of people buy into it. I don't understand why. Uh, they just show a move sequence that's been around for many years and then they just try to make sense of it but they just fail because how they describe it is not how it actually works but anyway let's begin so we're not going to actually do this case directly but we're going to do something similar that is we're going to do this which is called double parity by many cubers which is basically the single edge flip parity but also we do PLL parity of these two edges, for example. This is the most common pure form of it. And um, so anyway, we're going to solve this case intuitively. And then from there, if you're confident to know how to switch two edges, if you're comfortable with that algorithm to do PLL parity, then you'll be fine. But if not, I can show you how that works too. I might even do that. So let's see what happens. Basically, you do any moves you need to in order to set up the right center or the left center like this. Look at all of the center pieces in the right slice, in this slice. Take a look. The move sequence that generates this is here. It's very short, but you do not need to know this move sequence. All you have to do is write down the moves that you do in order to make the cube have this pattern in the centers. So this is the idea. Parity, or a single edge flip, or any other version of it, there are many versions of it, is solved using an odd number of inner slice quarter turns. For example, the most common argument to fix parity, the most intuitive explanation is, hey, let me just do a quarter turn R prime down, for example. Now I fix the parity. So now what I have to do is I have to solve back all the edges to pair them up again, and I also have to pair up all the centers again or solve the centers back. However, with this method that I'm going to show you, you don't have to do really either one. If you do moves like this, it doesn't matter what moves it is, as long as the centers in like one slice are the same, that if you were to do a slice turn, the centers do not change how they look. They look identical. So if you do a quarter turn, you're not going to mess up the centers at all because what you're going to do from this point once you've done this is you're going to once you do the quarter turn you're going to undo all of the moves that you've done after you do that quarter turn once you do that then all that will be left is four edges misplaced when we do a quarter turn the centers do not change at all so just using this move sequence as an example, but again, you can do any move sequence you want to. Just write down the moves to make, let's say, the right slice the centers look like this on a 4x4. And it doesn't have to be this color. You can have it on any color. You can do it on any face. It doesn't have to be blue and green. Let's do a quarter turn. And I'm just going to copy all of the moves that I've done, and I'm going to undo them. After I do that, this, this looks like a common parity case for the K4 method. But, like I said, it doesn't matter what moves you do, so it's not necessary to get this specific edge case. So that's the next step. But the first step, let me just finish with that, is that this is how you apply a quarter turn and you do not have to restore centers and you do not have to memorize any move sequence. You are free to do any move sequence you wish as long as you write down the moves where again, the centers are identical. So if you do a quarter turn, you don't change anything. So now all you've done is you've, you've done a four cycle of the edges. So once you undo the moves that you've done, these four edges are going to stay undone, but the centers, that because of the same color, they're going to be solved back to their original locations. There are four edges inside of this slice. Those are the four edges that we do a four cycle of. When we do a quarter turn, it's going to do a four cycle of edges. A cycle means that we 
move edges when like this edge comes here this edge goes there that edge comes here and this that edge right there comes here so we do a four cycle of edges let me just show you again if we do a quarter turn down and we undo I didn't undo if we undo the moves this is what happened here we can see here that the edge that was originally here because we applied this to the solve state it went there this edge went there this edge went there and this edge went there so if we take a look on the cube itself before we apply the quarter turn we did the quarter turn this direction so this edge right here if we rotate the cube and we imagine it being solved this right here is the top left edge that edge goes to well it comes here because this is the original position that we had when we do the quarter turn it comes into this edge this edge when we look at it it's the back right edge and so take a look here the top left went to the back right then this edge goes here and then similarly this edge goes here so now how do we get the single edge flip from this well this four cycle it was, was broken up it was a checkerboard pattern what do we do if we go to the 4x4x4 four by four by four parity algorithm speed solving wiki page which I have constructed um, I, I wasn't the one that began it but I've done all the maintenance and added all the algorithms that are on it up to date but anyway this is the page this is the case basically that I had uh, solved earlier this is the algorithm that I found in 2011 and this is also a, a similar algorithm but anyway if we go up to the double parity case I have similar conjugates for the double parity case in which not only are centers solved back but they're preserved so like let's say a move sequence like this right here so this is what I showed at the beginning with the double parity case so let's go ahead and let's take a look at before we did a quarter turn R or 2R in this case because it's sign notation. Again, there is no difference here. Um, the, in this case, the right slice is set up. As you can see, the centers, if we do a quarter turn, it does not change the centers at all. So therefore, that is taken care of for us now. But the thing to note, it doesn't matter if I do a quarter turn in this direction or in this direction. That type of four cycle will preserve those edges. And how do I know that? I basically went to the double parity case and I observed what type of four cycle it was. The four cycle it does is this edge that was originally here comes here. Then this edge that was originally there comes over here. Then the edge that was there goes there. And then this edge goes there. So that is a little bit weird looking but uh, that's exactly the four cycle it does but, but this is the type of four cycle that you need to do in order to preserve the edges. if we observe this like it's a solved cube we can see that that is the left orange white so this is left this is right just imagine that this is the orange face this is the left so I'll say left orange white goes to and what was originally here what originally here was this edge right here how do I know that because if I move this here then it's solved so I know that was there and clearly this is the left red edge so the left orange white went to the left red white then where did the left red right go you have to trace it in the order in which you're reading it so that one went here and that is where the right orange white will go well, that's where it was originally that's this one so this is the right orange white and the last edge is that it has to go to the right red white okay so that's the sequence this is the double parity but I'm just going to for the sake of it I'm gonna go grab I'm gonna go grab that short move sequence that sets up the centers for us again you can use whatever move sequence you want it doesn't matter so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the left orange white. This is the right orange white. But you see all the edges that I need to find, they need to be in the right slice because that's where the centers are set up. There is the left orange white. It's right here. So that needs to go to the left red white. 
the red white that's left is actually this one. If we turn it this way, this is the left red white. So that actually needs this ne edge needs to come here. But as we move it here, we need to make sure that the centers that we set up stay the same. So what I'm going to do is just take out this red and white edge, and now I'm going to put it in. You have to write down all of these moves. Now that is the left red white. Now the right orange white is next. So that is this edge right here that we took out. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put that in to where this edge goes. And I don't know if it's obvious, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quarter turn away from us. I'm going to do a quarter turn like this. I'm going to do a quarter turn um, 2R away from us. Because this edge comes here, this edge will then come here to that one, and so forth. So now lastly, this edge has got to go to the right, red, and white. And it's there. So that is the complete setup. So what we're going to do now, well for me, because I have this in a progress, I'm going to put this all in parentheses, but you don't have to. Now I'm going to do that quarter turn to fulfill this requirement, and I'm going to undo every move except for that quarter turn I just did, and then I'll get the same double parity case. But anyway, that's how it works. You just have to go back to double parity and observe what type of four cycle it is, and you set it up in the slice that you already sent up the centers for, so that way, not only do you not have to saw back centers, but you don't have to pair up edges after you've already done the quarter turn to induce an odd permutation. So now comes the question, well now you have the odd permutation. Can you handle it from here? Can you do a PLL parity algorithm from here? We can actually use the same setup for centers to do a PLL parity algorithm and attach it to this one in order to make a single dutch flip, for example. So I'm just going to copy this work down here and I'm going to erase everything but those moves that set up the centers for us. Now, let's go to the 4x4 parity algorithms page and look for a PLL parity setup. Okay, here. What about this? So basically, the way this works is you don't think of PLO parity as switching these two composite edges here. You don't think of it like that. You need to break it up into individual edge cubies. So this edge right here swaps with this one, and this edge right here swaps with this one. There's two separate swaps. That's what PLO parity is. So basically with this swap, if we read it the exact same way that we did with the double parity setup is that the, in this case, is the right orange and white swaps with the right red and white. Similarly, the left orange and white swaps with the left or, um, red and white. So what we're going to have to do is find some type of move sequence setup that swaps those edges like that with each other. So let me go ahead and apply the center setup that we had already. Now, this is the right and I need to look for the other right. This is the other right. If I rotate the cube this way you see that it is right. The right, red, and white. So basically the idea is to do a half turn instead of a quarter turn. That will swap these two edges with each other and a good example that I have is on the 4x4 parity algorithms page, just a good visual of what I mean. It means you swap this edge with this edge, and then if you rotate the cube once towards us, it'll be the other two swap diagonally like this across. So that's what we're going to do. A half turn swaps this edge right here with this edge, and this edge right here with this edge. And when we do a half turn, notice that, again, we do not change the centers at all. So if we just undo all the moves that we do, then we will therefore have an algorithm that does not disturb centers and in this case it will be swapping the edges simultaneously in a manner in which we desire. So now grabbing the moves that we used to, to create the double parity case, this is the moves that I had here. Remember I, um, I did a quarter turn and then I undid these moves and I got the double parity. So basically what we're going to do from here, so in our case we're not going to have that anymore. We're going to have the left orange-white swaps with the right 
red and white. And here it's the left red and white swaps with the right orange and white. So it's left with right for both of them. That's how it works. It's an easy way to remember it, left with right. It's just you want to do PLL parity to this. That's what you want to do. So what we're going to do now is we're going to just apply a move sequence and again I'm just going to use this one for simplicity that sets up the centers but now I need to have the right red swap with the left orange so this is the in this case it's the left red so diagonally opposite of it needs to be the right and it happens to be that it happens to be the right the right orange so similarly here we have the left orange and white swaps with the right red and white so it's already set up with this move sequence that I use but suppose it wasn't let me copy all of the moves that I did to set up the double parity and now apply them now I have this case where it looks like this what if I had something like this this is the in this case this is the left orange so if that is the left orange then over here should be the right red but it's not it's the right orange this is the right red so this red right here needs to go there so what I need to do is take it out and I will put it in and again I have to keep on realigning the setup centers so this is the right red this is the left orange so that's good and therefore th and this right here is the left red so I need to put the right orange here the right orange is there it's that one so what I'm gonna do is just put it in so now once I have that then I can do a half turn and then undo all of these moves that I have done after I've done the full double parity algorithm once I do that then I have a single dead flip and that is what I define as solving parity intuitively.